Hi there, I'm John Levensold for Killer PHP, and today what I'm going to be doing is building on our last tutorial where we essentially created this very simple uh, top navigation and header, and we're going to be flushing out some content and building a fully fledged website using HTML5. So if I just jump into my code right now, you'll see that I've got this index.html file, and we've got a body and then a header and then a section for our header and then we've got a nav tag and inside that we have our nav and then we have a section for content which ha we haven't really explored and then we have a footer tag so now let's actually you know sort of put these to work first thing I'm going to do is again I'm just going to take my project here in the kphp folder I'm going to create a, a fourth copy for this particular video and I'm going to open these two files in here. Okay, and I'm going to point my web browser to 04. Now, I'm also going to rely on some lorem ipsum text. And you can get this stuff at lipsum.com. Basically, this is just uh, text that looks like Latin that is uh, dummy text, which is really helpful if you want to uh, just you know mock out your website and you just want some some dummy text to get a sense of what the design is going to look like so there's my lorem ipsum text I'm going to copy and paste that in just a minute now if we go back to my editor here I'm using BB edit I've got this left section and in it I want to have a couple of paragraphs and one of them is going to be a pull quote. We'll get into that in a second. And then I'm going to have a... Actually, let me think about this for a second. Because we can actually do this more intelligently. We can use some more of the markup that's available to us in html5 for postings and so on and so forth so let me just take a look at something here all right so let's say we have a, a section here i want to create first i'm going to create an article because that would be the semantic thing to do and inside that article i'm going to have an h1 and that's going to be my post title. And then I'm going to have a div, call it meta. Could be also a section. We could just use section instead of div. And we'll have a paragraph here that'll say by author. And then I'll have another span tag here and I'll just say June 16th sure why not 2010 and that's about it so we've got or let's say on June 16th 2010 we could use the time tag in HTML5, and I'm going to talk about that in a bit, but for now we'll just use a span tag, which is something that we're familiar with and that we've used before, probably in regular HTML. And I'm just going to go back here, refresh this, so I've got this post title, and then I'm going to have three paragraphs here. Go back to my lorem ipsum, I'm going to copy this, this paragraph here, there's actually quite a bit of text here. And then I want part of that to be a pull quote. When you're building a template, of course, you don't want to design it specifically to one kind of content. You want it to be relatively flexible. And by using lorem ipsum text, you're adding to that flexibility because you're not concerned with what's being written, but just sort of how it's going to how it's going to flow on the page. So now we have a post title, and we've got our text. So far, so good. Not very interesting. 
but let's see if we can style it a little bit. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to specify a width here. So my article is going to be sitting inside some sort of box and that box is going to have to align up with this design over here. So I'm going to start by just basically saying okay we've got this content area here this section called content I'm still trying to figure out how I want to mark this up semantically so it makes the most sense okay so we've got a section here let's say actually I don't even think we need a section here And here, I'm going to put the aside tag outside, and we'll just call this left content. You won't notice any difference, but basically I want to make sure that this section is one part of the site, and then the aside is going to be a, a sidebar, and then we're going to have a footer. So that's what that's kind of the design I'm going for here. So now that we have left content, I'm going to say, we're going to go down to the bottom of our document and say section dot left content. And we're going to set a width of 599 pixels. And let's see. We're also going to have to display block. There we go. So now our section is confining this container. And you might have seen me check to see what was what. Essentially, I did display element information using the web developer toolbar, which lets me see how the document is, in fact, structured. So. Now that I have something that's 599 pixels, I also want it to appear right underneath I, my the rest of the content on my page, right? So I'm going to have to have another section which is just going to keep everything together in one just package so that it's all aligned in the center. So that, for example, I've got this left content section, I've got this right content section, and then I've got this footer, but they all need to be in the right space on the page. So, for example, if I take my footer and I give it a background of red, oh, and I display block, and let's say I give it a height of 100 pixels, there we go. Like right now, it's appearing underneath. But I also have this aside tag. And the aside tag is going to have to float left. Let's say it'll have a width of 200 pixels. And it'll have a background of blue. And let's say we'll put something in the aside tag just to see. And now you'll see that the sidebar is actually in the completely wrong place. So we need to fix that. Now in order for the content of our site and the sidebar to appear next to each other, we need to make sure that uh, the left content section is floating left and that our footer is clearing the float. And when you clear a float, it means that you want it to appear underneath. So this is more layout stuff, but if you're coming from an HTML background, an HTML or XHTML background, you've probably done a little bit with floats. But essentially, if I set this to float left and the other thing to float left, then they're going to appear next to each other, except that now the background image or the footer is just going to jump right up here, which we don't want. So the footer needs to have a clear left associated with it. And what that means is that we want the footer to appear after. 
So that's good. So we got our sidebar, we've got our post, and we've got our footer. 